How great, how how great, how great is our Lord, how great is our Lord, how great is our God. How great, oh, how great, how great, how great, how great, how great, how great is our God. How great, how great. This is Rev. Michelle Mann. I warn you, what you are about to discover is very disturbing. You are looking at a 100 times magnification of a sample containing aluminum tipped fiberglass. This is a 400 times magnification. You are about to be horrified. This sample was taken from my upper respiratory passages. I hate to be the bearer of bad news to you. But if you live in America, you have them in your respiratory system too. As you can see, these are jagged glass shards just like these simple tiny glass shards under a microscope. They're also rounded, shaved glass with aluminum all around the edges. Now just so you know, I did not encircle them to make them easier to see. The dark rings around the glass are aluminum. Notice on this much closer view, the aluminum reflects light as a reddish or pinkish reflection in many places. You can see it on this one too. They're seen on all of them. This is the reason why we are seeing what atmospheric scientists refer to as pink cloud. You see these clouds. They literally are pink. And they're pink because the light is hitting the edges of this aluminum around this fiberglass and showing up as pink. Here you can see it as well. Pink clouds. Now some people might think this beautiful but really and truly it's hideous because of the dangers it imposes. When you see clouds like this you know the aerosol that has been sprayed includes aluminum-tipped fiberglass in the mix. Now notice this rainbow refraction of light through the fiberglass itself. Because of this prismatic effect, very strange rainbow-colored clouds are seen all over the world now, something that never happened in decades past. So when you see weird rainbow effects that don't belong in the natural sky like this, you know that aluminum tipped fiberglass is in the mix. How are these things created? They're called metallic fiberglass by the industry that makes them. For aerosol sized particles, Take fiberglass nanotubules and immerse them in molten aluminum. Then slice the tubules in microscopic cross sections. And you have a finished product. Why are the nations that have UN agreements spraying aerosols with aluminum tipped fiberglass. The first reason given to me by my NASA contacts was that the official cover story for the public was that the aerosols were for enhanced communications between satellites and ground, air, and ocean based transceivers, that is, for transmitting and receiving transmissions. Governments which are participating in this international aerosol program 
are getting ready to make public claims that the reason they are going to use these and other aerosol ingredients are to counteract global climate change. What they are not telling the public is that they have been using these and many other aerosols for decades now for many purposes, such as non-disclosed public experiments without public permission, public bioassaults en masse, and weather manipulation. Governments worldwide are in collusion, manipulating the weather. Especially this year and in the next years to come, they are violently provoking climactic chaos in order to tax us all for our carbon footprint so that we will actually willingly pay for these crimes against us, crimes against humanity. We'll pay for them ourselves. I'm about to horrify you further. This is a microscopic view of nanoparticles created to deliver vaccines to mucosal surfaces. Mucosal surfaces are your nose, your mouth, your trachea or throat, and your lungs. Look familiar? This is Rev. Michelle Mann. Thank you for watching, and God bless you. How great is our God? How great.